Thanks. Back in Indy, I'm pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Wisconsin Badgers, Paul Chris. Coach, second straight year, you've been here. It didn't end quite as you wanted it to last year. How big a motivator is that for your guys? Well, I think it's certainly, you know, every time you play and all your experiences you, you hope to learn from. But this is a different team. You know, we're playing a different opponent. Our team is different. And, you know, I'm proud of the way this group earned the right to play here. And, and we know we're playing against a really good Ohio State football team. But I think you try to draw on all your experiences. And last year's game, for many, would be one of those. But it's not about last year. It's about this group this year, this challenge, and this opportunity. How do you prepare for their quarterback uncertainty? Well, I think you prepare for their best, and that's the only way you can. We don't know, so you prepare for what you see, and and it's uh, certainly, you know, JT Barrett's a heck of a quarterback, you know, earned and is worthy of all the awards he's gotten, and most impressive is how he's played, you know, over the course of time. But it's also more than just him, you know. But I think you, you plan on seeing their best. We know we're going to get their best, and that's the way we've kind of gone about our planning this week. How are some of the ways your team has grown this year? Well, I think they've done a nice job of trying to find ways to get better. And, and we talk all the time, if individually each guy can find one thing to get better at, then collectively we're getting better. And I think they've done a really good job of staying in the moment and kind of enjoying each week that opportunity. And I think with that, you know, anytime you get to this point in the season, you've overcome some things, you've been challenged. And, and I think they've done a good job of trying to go forward and being in the moment and certainly you know this is this is big to us you know we've earned this right to play in this game and and you want them to maximize that experience coach as you as we can build on that a little bit there are you, you guys are undefeated and you have to build on that each and every week how do they stay focused or how are you able to keep them focused on the next task and allowing those wins that were happened the week before to stay right that last week you know it's hard to do and and you appreciate that but you know, we've been talking about that for years now. And, you know, it's about being in that moment. We, there's great examples, and every team has them of, you know, the team. I always think the teams are scheduled. They're going to play their their schedule. But kids, players don't have that. You know, we've got guys that have missed games because of injury. You know, one of our captains, Jack Sitchie, missed the entire season. My point is, is that, you know, they spend all this time and work, and playing the game is the best part. And so you want them to enjoy each one. Nothing's given. And... Just be in that moment, enjoy it, knowing that there's also, along with that, a season-long journey. But I think they've done a good job, and, and I think, no doubt, our upperclassmen have done a great job kind of passing along. Things that they've learned, we've all kind of learned along the way, and just, that's, this is, a, it's, there's so much work that goes into getting to play a season, and when you get those games, you want to enjoy them and you want to maximize them. Every quarterback wants to avoid turnovers, so other than that, what does Alex Hornibrook have to do to really help the offense tomorrow? I think the biggest thing that, you know, talk with Alex and you talk to every player is, you, you know, you've got to trust your preparation and, and trust those experiences that you've had and go play the game. And, you know, seldom, uh, never seen a, any player play a perfect game, right? But, right. you know, he's got to, there's going to be times where he's got to come up with making a good decision, delivering a ball that, you know, we can catch. And, and then he's got to do a good job in the run game and kind of just orchestrating and running our offense. But he's just got to do the things that he's been doing and find a way to do it a little bit better. You've got an elite defense that I believe you can take anywhere. You're bringing them to Indy now. They've got a big task ahead of them right. trying to stop Ohio State. What are some of the keys to that defense being able to have success tomorrow night? I think the biggest key is that, you know, Ohio State does a great job of, one, spreading you out. They're obviously very talented, and the schematics that they use forces you to really be disciplined in your assignment. You know, you've got to trust that the other guys are doing their part, and you can focus on doing yours. And then once the play declares, we've got to try to get as many hats to the ball as we can. Coach, arguably the biggest game in school history. What's your message going to be? This team this year has earned the right to play for the Big Ten Championship, and that's a big deal and be in that moment and appreciate that. It didn't just happen, and it's all about, the best thing is play the game. You know, when the game comes around, play your best football. It's about a football game, and everything else doesn't matter when you're playing the game. Head coach of the Badgers, Paul Christ, always a pleasure. Thanks a lot, Coach. Thanks, best Coach. Of luck. Great being with you guys. Thanks, Coach. Let's go back to Chicago.